thing. He came in like a torpedo. His tongue got hard, like a boner, and he literally just went, Boom! Like, he just got out of a, like, 11 year relationship, I think. Oh. You kissed him for 11 years. What? Eventually, you're gonna meet someone that went through the same problems with the guy, so you guys are gonna have a lot to chat with. <laughs> you're gonna have a lot to chat about. How bad was it for you? I went on a dating show about it. <laughs> <laughs>
he never texted me again. So. So, but that 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 so that's true though. So, like bad kisses or bad love makers. Have you had that experience where it's the opposite, or is it like different from that? Well, I find like he was my first bad kisser in a long time. Yeah. Like I feel most people like unless you're like 15, <laughs> uh, which I don't kiss 15 year olds anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know how to kiss eventually. It yeah. Takes a little practice, but it's not brain science. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're you're a good looking guy, so I assume this was also a really good looking guy, right? Yeah, he was pretty handsome. I was I was talking about this yesterday. It was like I'd seen him a long time ago, and then I'd seen him online. But you still never know. Like people can really trick you with their uh, photos online. Right. Yeah. Right. And I remember he rode a bike, I think, to my old place. And when he showed up, I was like, okay, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? And then he and I saw him. I was like, he's hot. Nice. <laughs> Maybe he's gotten away with this kissing just from being hot. Yeah, and then and that was that was it. But also, there was more, like our conversations he, were not like uh, like amazing after the second and third date. And he was actually kind of a jerk to me once when we were supposed yeah. to meet up, and I went to the wrong place, and he just was getting I was just getting a bad vibe right away. So like the kiss was kind of like the, the nail in the coffin. What makes a good kiss in your mind? It's just oh, give and take. Like soft and rhythm mm -hmm. and like. You know, you go in a little bit and they come in a little bit. And I love when they like to your neck and their hands are like touching all the right yeah. places, even down to your, you know, yeah, touch your butt a bit. And like, I don't know, just like not staring at you. And um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just like, eyes were, wait, the eyes were open? Two. No, no, they weren't. Oh, okay. Right. Well, like when it comes to making out, I think a lot of people, when they're making out or doing a little bit of foreplay, I think it's like, it's like a love language as well. So it's just like, whatever they project onto you, they like themselves. Yeah. So like, do, do you do that as well? Where it's like, okay, well, cause you're saying like, I like the neck, I like the handle and the butt grabbing. Do you do that to the person you're doing it with? Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah cause you want it back yourself. And I think that's a good lesson to have where it's just right. like, listen to cues. And it's like, if you're not leading well, if you're if feeling stiff, not into it, just that's when you know to let the other person lead when like they're hitting those nice spots. It's just it's like a little bite of the ear. A little bite of the ear, yeah. Yeah, a little nibble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, then you know that person likes to nibble as well. And it's like, oh, this is going to be fun. Let's try this. When does the tongue, when is a good point for the tongue to be introduced? Uh, Should the tongue ever be hard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tongue, it totally can be at, I mean, like, to pull out the hard, the hard tongue. I feel like, yeah, pull it out once to make out, it's fine. But he just led with it and kept going with it. And I like gave him ample time to switch it up and it never happened. And I was like, this is your only move. It's um, more than a mouth. It's more than the mouth a kiss. It's actually, yeah. how much percent would the mouth even matter? Probably like 60%. The rest is all like hands and body and sounds. I will, I will agree with that. Fighting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was I've been told that the gay community is actually really small in Vancouver. So eventually you're going to meet someone that went through the same problems with the guy. So you guys going to have a lot yeah, to chat. You're going to have a lot to chat about. <laughs> you're like <laughs> kid, like really and they're, he's like yeah, really bad. How bad was it for you? I went on a dating show about it. <laughs> Probably happened. Yes, Vancouver is very very small. Yeah. yeah it, How do you find that? Cuz you know what? You're really well connected. Yeah. I mean, well, it's tricky right now. Like I keep saying, like I became single right as the pandemic started and I just missed going mm. to like 1181 and, and being able to walk around freely and like go up to the bar and buy a drink next to someone and make, you know, have a quick conversation or eye someone from across right. the bar. Now, and I know they're just playing by the rules, but you go places and you have to go sit in the little taped off area. And it's very, like, it's really hard to mingle with other people. Yeah. And I've kind of like taken a break from all the social apps right now. So I just really want to meet someone genuinely and in person. Um, yeah. So I'm just not, I, the, like the last few months I've been really just focusing on like my comedy and content and Amy and I are starting a podcast. So I've been focusing on that. What's it called? The podcast is called PLT, Poor Little Thing. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, that's going to be great. Like, How would somebody DM you and impress you? Or like, have you DM'd guys back and forth through Instagram? I know it's that's like different than a dating app. Because yeah, like, so that might be a way people pick. So up Ryan, you. so yeah. Ryan, you bartend and you're a really good looking guy, yeah. and all the guys saw that you're really good looking, and then they find out that he's single again. Like you must have gotten a lot of DMs. Like, what were some of the good ones, and what were some of the bad ones? Uh, I mean, yeah. If, you know, first of all, Instagram is totally a dating site. Especially yeah, yeah, let's, yes. yeah. Yes. I've had guys from like Australia, LA, like yeah, 
you know, met, we've had long, I mean, I'm talking to a guy in Australia right now, actually. And um, yeah, it's been, and we've, a lot of us have met up. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't know. I didn't like, I found with this breakup, I didn't like, it wasn't a big official announcement. And, and I don't know, it's not, I don't think about it enough. Sometimes I feel I'm old and I'm washed up and no one cares anymore. And because Vancouver is so small, I have dated half of like, the men that I've wanted to date. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> yeah, the options are slim. I, I think my big goal is just for Amy and I to like go out be big enough that we can go on tour and I can yes. just like travel North America and go to all these different cities and then go to the bar after my show and sit my vodka soda and then someone yeah. will come up and be like, you're Ryan from the Ryan and Amy show. And I'll be like, yes, where's your hotel? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, that's the ticket. That's how it works, okay? You just buy him a drink. You tell him you've seen him on the show, and then you go for it. There we go. Right. Yeah, but have people successfully reached out through your DMs and made it happen in terms of like a cold opener, like not on a dating app, just on? I mean, it is a dating app, I guess, but yeah, Instagram. Like, I'm so I guess I'm shallow. If you message me, the first thing I'll immediately do is look at your profile. Yeah, you well, you should. Yeah. Dec- if I'm decently attracted to you, then the conversation will continue. And if I'm not, I'll usually message you back but I'll just like show no sign of a, like yeah. this being anything romantic that, cause I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's some people who just they'll like send weird stuff and then I just don't respond. I love like, you can leave them in that little, if they're not following, if you're not following each other, then it, it doesn't show that you've read it kind of thing. You know? yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's in general, the general folder. Yeah. Exactly. But so yeah, with you message me, I will. Yeah usually message you back if it's a normal message and then it just yeah the amount of affection i give you depends on if i'm attracted to you or not what type of profile is a turn off like oh, when yeah, you go yeah. when you what go to profile is a turn off and you were mentioning too like it's pretty easy to doctor photos and like gay yeah, guys yeah, definitely yeah. know like i feel like straight guys some of them just don't understand how to no. do that at all it's like a foreign <laughs> they honestly are like shocked that it even exists yeah. like they're like what that girl doesn't look like that how did she do that right it's like no it's very accessible <laughs> but, yeah, for guys like there, these guys are obviously on it. So what, how can you tell, like, what are some red flags in a profile and how can you tell um, when they're doctors? I mean, I think sometimes you just need to look at several photos because mm-hmm. sometimes you can look super hot in a photo, but then the rest, maybe not so much, which is, oh, hey, hey, I don't even want to sound like an asshole, but you got to look at all, you also have to look at the tag photos sometimes because oh, we obviously always one. post the photos that we feel most confident in or we want to, but People will tag you in other photos that you have no control over, but you yeah. can tag yourself. Because they look great in those photos and you don't. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're not worried about that. They're like, <laughs> exactly. I mean, and I can be victim of it too. Like I like to face tune the smallest amount. I usually just like right. use right. the details over the eyes. They just make your eyes pop a bit. And like, I try to leave yeah. all my wrinkles around my eyes. So if someone yeah. did, were to zoom in, they could tell that it's pretty real. Um, okay. Sometimes you whiten the teeth a bit. Yeah. Well, that's what they yeah, do yeah, for yeah. like that's what they do for acting headshots. So that's allowed. Those little touch-ups where it's like post like that's a headshot. That's a professional photo. I think that's it's okay. like I think like um, minimizing blemishes and like kind of smoothing to a certain extent is and whitening. But when you start to like physically like mold the shape of things, I think that is so hard to make look normal. Like I feel it's so obvious, but. Not straight men, they just don't notice, but like definitely like gay men and women definitely can tell, right? Yeah, away. like yeah. sometimes you see noses that look like they went to one of Michael Jackson's doctors where it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's not real. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. But what is like, what would be an example of like a, a shallow profile where it's just like, oh, this person looks right. very shallow? Right, right, right. Because that's something you look yeah. for too, yeah. right? Like, I mean, I, I feel I was victim of it at one point too, but like I feel like every photo of you is a selfie, then mm. like, that's a little shallow like you everyone has control over their instagram they can you can do whatever you want with it but come on don't you have friends don't you go for hikes don't you yeah a family like well that's the thing because it is if you're single it is kind of used as a dating profile so this is my channel this is a view into my life so like these are my stories yeah. these are my pictures it's like this is what this is how i'm going to be conceived as a fun hang yeah, yeah. And if it's like, if every photo is just you, but if you're like on the top of Grouse Mountain or you are in the water or you are at work, I don't know, then it's yeah. fine. If everyone is you in the same mirror in different underwear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same mirror in different <laughs> underwear. That's all. At least show me that you have a friend taking that photo for yes, you. At no least mirror. At least just be like, no mirror. <laughs> and give a photo cred. Yeah. And what made you take a break from the apps? What made you take a break from the dating apps? You said you're on a break from them, right? Yeah, because 
Oh, well, I found Tinder is funny because like you can say no to people and then after, I don't know what the time is, but it'll refresh itself. So those people that you might've said no to, because sometimes you accidentally say no to people. I've been ex, I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh yeah. Oh my God. That's the worst. That's the worst. Yeah. I love it that they bring these people back eventually. So then you get a yeah. second shot because I've said no the first time and yes, the second time. And I, I know people have done that to me. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I was just like on them last year. And again, Vancouver is so small. I was just seeing the same people and I don't know. I finally like this sounds maybe so cliche, but because I dated a fair bit last year, different people. And then I just kind of got to this place where I was actually quite happy single. And I've, I'm living on my own for the first time in my life. And I love my apartment and like my career is going quite well right now. It's going in the right direction and we're very busy with it. So sometimes I think like, because I'm still bartending and trying to juggle this comedy acting career, where would I fit, you know, a man even in, which don't get me wrong. If, the perfect, if the perfect man came knocking at my door today, I would obviously make everything work. Yeah. But right now I'm just kind of like finding it very nice that I don't have to stress about that. Cause even I wonder like in my last relationship, if that was one of the reasons why we broke up, because mm. I feel like my career always came first. Or if you'd want to do something, I'm like, I just need two more, two more hours to edit this video and then we can go do that. You know what I mean? I always oh, cool. that first. Oh, cool. You did, you did the editing. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you did a great yeah. job. Like, you you really good cuts. Like, it's like you do such the a great job. The TV ratings made me so happy during yeah. such a difficult time. Like, I think a lot of people really appreciated that. Yeah. It's, it kept me sane, too, actually. Like, yeah. It was the first time in a long time where I had a deadline every week. Like, every Sunday, Monday, I had to film, edit it, and then Tuesday, upload it. It just yeah. kind of kept me in a great routine. And also, that was when the pandemic was still quite intense. So Amy and I couldn't really see each other. So it kept me busy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so it was great. Let's, let's I mean, you definitely would be a really, 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 really good partner, though, yeah. like a life partner. So I definitely don't like yeah. I don't think you'd be like a hookup guy. You know, no, like you're... you can you will have fun doing that if you want. But yeah, like I doubt your career would like come first. I definitely doubt that. I think that you would be like it would be both. But like, yeah, you'd be a very committed guy. Yeah. Thank you. I like attention more than hooking up. Like I'd love to yeah. just go to the bar. Hey, I was at your show tonight. That was awesome. Have a conversation, have a drink or two. And then go back like really i would rarely go yeah. back with that person i would probably go to my to my hotel and feel very confident that i got hit on by an attractive man and then that that's all i wanted yeah Aww. Aww. also where do you go to on a date i, I went on oh, yeah. it wasn't a date the other day but I, I did this tell us health commercial recently and the man that played my husband in it is a very good looking english guy and we went for a beer it was i think it was just a friendship thing but like still he's like well where do you want to go and in my head i was like well, if we go to Fountainhead, everyone's going to think we're on a date. And I'm going to see people, obviously, I know, because it just always happens. Yeah. And if we go to score, that's going to be a hell, because I work there. And every person's going to go, oh, who is this, Ryan? So <laughs> I said, I'm going to get us like a six pack and we'll go to Sunset Beach. Because it was oh, nice. out, and it was easy and we sat on the grass and it was just like, you know, uh, it was just, yeah, it was simple. Because I'm just, that's the other thing too, where you go places and then, oh, I saw Ryan and he was with this guy and blah, 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 blah. Well, no, that's actually like a good point of just like, I think that's also a thing that we learned from the pandemic. It's just like, you can't do these extravagant things anymore. So like when you watch those bachelor shows and it's just like, they don't end up making it. It's cause like, well, cause every date they had was on a, on a mountain or a <laughs> volcano, <laughs> helicopter rides. It's like, yeah. you know, you're going to make it if you can hang out and just do nothing. If you can sit with someone and yeah. just do nothing with them, then everything else is gravy. And I think that, I think that's why like that date that you had at Sunset Beach was like, just let's have some beers watch this beautiful sunset and just chat it up. Totally. One thing I did want to ask actually is if it ever harms you that people think that you and Amy are an item. But that rarely happens. I mean, on our TikTok and our bio, it says flaming sketch comedy duo with a pride flag. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's good. But also yeah. TikTok people are crazy because right. uh, and no one ever looks at your profile. They watch your video and like in one of them, I'm this old man man with this filter on me and everybody thinks I'm really this old man. No one thinks to click on, oh, what's the Ryan and Amy show? And then you see a photo of us and I'm clearly not 89 years old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the amount of stupidity that is out there is mind boggling. Um, yeah. But I could see like, yeah, maybe from our Instagram and some of our videos, you might think, you know, I feel if we mean Amy were straight, we would probably be a couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If Aww. you guys were, yeah. That's so oh, cute. yeah, Aww. you guys are so sweet. Well, we're everybody keep an eye out for their new podcast coming out. Follow and subscribe to their channel and their Instagram. They're hilarious. And this Thank was super fun. Yeah, thanks for coming to our bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yes.